Uh, Trayvon, how are you looking to build upon your impressive performance last Thursday night against the Giants? Uh, honestly, you know, uh, just just keep attacking the days. You know, uh, stay in this playbook, and, and when, when my name's called, be ready to go. How would you describe what these last couple of weeks have been like for you in terms of joining the team, getting the promotion, and now getting out there and making plays on the field? Uh, it's been been a uh, roller coaster ride. You know, uh, great great ride. You know, uh, something that you know I'm excited about. Uh, just, just being able to, to go out there with a great group of guys and help this team, you know, uh, contribute. That's that's all I want to do is contribute. When you're not with the team and you're in that limbo phase, do you start getting questions personally about whether that next opportunity is going to come, and do you dream about when it does come, being able to take advantage of it? Well, I'm I'm just a guy who has strong faith, you know. So, whatever happens, happens. You know, I leave it in God's hands and I let Him. Decide the he's the deciding factor, of, you know how how everything unfolds. So, you know, uh, it's a great opportunity for me to be here, and I'm excited. What was it like when you first got the call from Philadelphia? Uh, it was a, a great feeling, you know, uh, just n knowing that you know uh, an organization believed in me. You know, they they, they kind of see what I what I bring to the table, and you know, it was just it's a great feeling. Was it? it was were the Eagles involved, or did they show interest in you previously? Uh, I believe so. I'm not not too sure, but yeah. I mean, you know, I'm here now, so that's all that matter. <laughs> when, you're, when your numbers called, you're out there on the field. Do you think of every opportunity to say, "I've got to make you know this play"? I, I can understand with with young players, you know, you get you want to maximize those opportunities. You want to make sure that you put something good on film. Mm -hmm. Is there a pressure to say every time that you're out there, "I've got to make you know something big happen"? You don't never want to put added pressure on yourself. You know, you just want to go out there and play to your best ability. Uh, you can't go out there chasing plays. You know, plays is going to come to you as long as you just play with good technique and, uh, you know, you're aggressive and you use your hands. You know, the plays that you're supposed to make will come. What is it like being in a room with Fletcher Cox, Lodi Nada, Chris Long, Michael Ben, all, all these veterans who have had success, who have been, you know, the preeminent players at their respective positions in the league? Man, it's great. You know, uh, this that's probably one of the best uh, feelings that I get, you know, being able to be around a great group of guys like that, uh, veteran presence, uh, uh, people who, who, who got a lot of experience in this league, you know, uh, they know how to last, they know how to stay, they know how to contribute to the team, they, they're, they're all great leaders. So, you know, uh, just, just having the opportunity to be in the same room as them guys, you know, personally, that, that's a great achievement of mine, you know. Uh, I feel like I can learn a lot from them guys and they can uh, help my career, you know, take off on the right path. What are some of the things that you try to pick their brains about? Uh, just a little technique stuff, you know, uh, take off, what they, uh, keys, you know, what they're, what they kind of, you know, read, uh, just, just, just little, you know, little knickknack stuff, uh, how they recover after games. You know how they get ready during the week. You know this little stuff that, you know they they got in the groove of doing. You know uh, at a very young stage of their career. You know uh, and just whatever I can learn from them to keep myself moving. Is there one thing that you've adapted to your game already? Whether it's something behind the scenes in terms of preparation, whether it's something that you've worked on on the field, or even you know in that recovery phase that you can tell it's already kind of helped you out. Definitely recovery. You know. Uh, I spend a lot more time recovering. You know, I take care of my body a lot more. Uh, last year, I was just going through the motion. You know, uh, just 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 having that first that that first year experience. You know, uh, you're just wide eyed yeah. and trying to <laughs> yeah, you're just trying to last. You know, you're just trying to enjoy that experience while I don't you know go too fast. So uh, definitely taking care of my body. Uh, you know, trying to trying to stay alive because it's a long season. So you know you. It's got to stay healthy as long as possible. Now, looking at the Sunday, Carolina, they, they put Cam Newton in a situation where he's running quarterback power. You know, you know what he can do with his arm and his legs. What was the challenge of going against someone who is big and physical, that, who can run the ball, but also has a cannon for an arm? Cam Newton's a great quarterback. Uh, they got a, a nice offense over there, you know, uh, a team that wants to uh, establish the run. So, you know, uh, just, just, just trying to uh, corral, you know, that guy and stop that that offense would be the the, the plan, you know, for us and you know uh, it should be an exciting game. This is a defense that likes to get aggressive and attack up the field. 
do you have to be wary of a team like Carolina that they might do some misdirection or do something to kind of offset that with the screen game because they have someone like Christian McCaffrey coming out of the backfield who can catch the ball definitely? Uh, well, you know, our, our, our mindset is to be aggressive. So uh, we want to be aggressive. We want to play physical. We want to play fast. You know, we don't want to uh, change too much stuff around. We just, just, just want to be able to play to our best ability and go fast and, and uh, stop that offense in front of us, whatever offense is in front of us. My last question is, obviously, Haloti looks like he'll be coming back to the lineup, but Destiny w was injured and he was uh, weighed by the team. That means a bigger role for you going forward. Have you given any thought to that whatsoever? Uh, not really. You know, uh, I just want to continue to call her and, and, and do what I can do. You know, uh, like I said, just stay around these, these these guys and learn what I can learn. You know, to become a better player out here on the field and just to you know just to play my role. You know, be be a, a good a good player and you know contribute however I can.